Thank you for that comment. I will say I, I very much agree. You know, one of the things I had the opportunity to do last year was, was to travel to South Africa and, and to attend Nelson Mandela's funeral. And, and it was a powerful celebration of a man who spent almost three decades in prison because he was standing for what he believed in. He was standing against what he was told was impossible to change. And the clerk stepped through that window of opportunity, and then Mandela, when he became the leader of his nation, it would have been so easy, after decades of prison, to pursue reprisals. And that would have destroyed the nation if he had done as so many others have done, and he instead took the high road and said, let's bring this country together. And it was a real privilege to celebrate that, but let me tell you, that story... That example is inspirational, but I'll tell you a word of encouragement to each of you. All across the country, people that I see are, are, are worried. They're worried about the path we're on. They're worried about the economic stagnation, about the loss of opportunity, about how much harder it is for people who are struggling to achieve the American dream. They're worried about the fact that we're bankrupting this great nation. They're worried about the fact that our constitutional liberties are being eroded. But the word of encouragement that I want to give is we are seeing all across the country a grassroots movement on awakening. One of the real blessings of serving in the Senate is that I get to travel across the country. I get to see it not just here in Iowa, but in states all over this country. And let me tell you, there are people all over this country who are waking up, who are saying, the path we're on, it isn't working, it doesn't make sense. Let's get back to the free market principles. Let's get back to our constitutional liberties. That's how it's going to happen. It's going to come from the people, and I'm here to tell you it is happening all over this great nation.